Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Priscilla Kadiri the Virtual Suma. You are welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, the Virtual Suma. Follow me on TikTok and on Facebook. My page, David and Priscilla. What did the Lord God want us to hear today? Is and is asking. What is that impediment? The Lord God wants you to take it off so that you can have a good relationship with Him. A relationship of a father and his son. A relationship of a daughter and the father. That is the type of relationship Jesus Christ wants us to have. In the book of Exodus, chapter 3, starting from verse 1 to verse 6, but where I'm going to take my test reading today is verse 5. The Lord God said, Do not come near. Remove your sandals from your feet. For the place where you stand is holy ground. Then, going forward, he said, I am the Lord your God. He continued, The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look at God. Our test today is, what is that thing that is causing you, your relationship with God Almighty? Moses was a child. God has already destined that he will rescue the Israelites. But because of what happened, he ran away. He went to media. For 40 years, Moses was there. This particular time, he was studying his father in laws from Jethro. Then he came to the wilderness and the mountain of God, that is the hill of Horeb. He saw the bush burning. He saw flame of fire, but the bush is not burning. And he was so curious to know why. As he was about to draw nearer, the Lord God said, remove your sandals. That sandals was an impediment. Today, what is that thing that is preventing you from having a relationship with your Lord Jesus Christ? The Lord God said, take it away. Because it was when Moses removed the shoe from his leg, that was when God was able to talk to him. As a child of God, what is that sin that is preventing you from serving the Lord? What is that impediment? What is that idol? Anything you place above God is an idol. The Lord God said, no, remove it. When you take it away, you will be able to serve me in truth and in spirit. What is the sandals on your leg? What? Is it food? Some of us, food has taken us away from serving God. You cannot even wait upon the Lord for one day, for two hours, for three hours. Some of us, it's our weight. Some is our beauty. Some is our children. Some is our husband. Some is our profession. That the Lord God. Some is your money. Make you not to serve God. I don't have time. I have to be at the market. When it is time for you to stand in the gap, you are not dear. It's an idol. The Lord God said, he told Moses, he said, remove that shoe from your leg because... It's an impediment. What is that obstruction that is causing you not to have a good relationship with God? The Lord Almighty is telling me and you today, he said, remove it because I'm about to do a new thing in your life. And before I change you, you must do away with that sin. What is that sin? What is that? So, what is it? Some of us, when we are waiting, we are drinking coffee. We are eating ice cream. We call it waiting. Oh, I cannot fast. I have ulcer. Oh, I cannot do this. 
what is that thing? The Lord God said, take it away. After taking it away, come. Our God does not discriminate. Is the Alpha, is the Omega. Especially now that Christmas is approaching. What is that thing that will prevent you from receiving Christ in truth? And in spirit, what is that impediment that will make you not to welcome Christ into your home, into your temple? I'm talking of your body now. What is it? The Lord God said, Remove the sandals from you, from your leg, remove it because I'm about to do a new thing. Where you are standing is holy, I am an holy God. He said, I cannot behold iniquity, but. Through the blood of Jesus Christ, we will be able to stand and say, Habba, Father. We stand in the righteousness of Jesus Christ. But before you can stand in the righteousness of Jesus Christ, you should be able to welcome him as your Lord and your personal Savior. What is that impediment that is preventing you from not having a good fellowship with God? Is it sleep? Some of us, we sleep, we sleep, and we enter into spiritual slumber. What is it? The Lord God said, take it off. Taking it off, then come unto me. Let us reason together. In the book of Isaiah chapter 1, he said, Oh Israel, come and let us reason together. God wants to have a fellowship with you. God wants you to be in proper alignment with it. But that impediment, that thing, that thing, I don't know what it is. The Lord God is telling you, just the way he told Moses, in the wilderness, he said, remove those sandals from your leg. It was after removing the sandals that Moses was able to have a good fellowship with God. It was after removing his sandals, Moses received his rush of, received power, received what he needed for his journey. What is it? The Lord God wants to use you as a vessel. St. Francis of Assisi will say, Oh God, make me a channel of blessing. The Lord God wants to make you a channel of blessing. The Lord God wants to use you as a vessel. But what is the sandals on your leg that you refuse to pull off? The Lord God is telling you, Take it away. Come on to me. Then I will use you mightily. It was when Apostle Paul took off his sandals, the Lord God used him. It was when the apostle emptied himself and said, Abba Lord, you are Father, use me. Twelve, they evangelized the whole world, whether you like it or not. The twelve apostles, they sowed the seed. What is it that is preventing you? From doing the work of the Almighty. What is it that is preventing you from hearing from the God Almighty? My Jesus is telling you today. He said, remove the sandals from your leg. And come, I will speak to you. You don't hear from God because there are still sandals that you need to pull off from your leg. You hear from God when you now remove the sandals. I say, Abba Lord, order your Lordship. I worship you. Here I am, use me, just like Isaiah. The Lord God cannot use you when you still have the sandals you're not supposed to have. Until you put on the proper sandals that the Lord God has ordained for you, you will hear from the God Almighty and he will not use you. Father Lord God, I thank you. Blessed be unto you. May your word that has spoken be planted on the fertile ground. May he eat fruit in the name of Jesus. May this word, oh God, not bring us to condemnation, but may, but may your word that I spoken today bring us to life everlasting. Because your word purify, your word redirect, your word recreate, your word give us insight, knowledge. Your word is a vision that we need. May your word be multiplying our life in the name of Jesus. Thank you for listening. Until you come my way again, keep on obeying the Lord. Remove that sandals that the Lord God is telling you to pull off. Remove it and he will use you mightily. May the good Lord bless you. Have a good day.
Thank you and God bless you. Once again, my name is Priscilla Kadri, the Virtuous Woman. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe, like, and share. May the good Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Shalom.